We're a long way from home. That was really weird. Somehow, this humble van is no longer on the streets of Plymouth in the UK, but has found itself amidst the chaos and madness of a Mexico-Guatemala border, ready to take us on the next leg of our trip to Argentina. But first, we need to get us, our two dogs and our van across one of the most hectic borders we have ever experienced. I don't really know, I don't, I don't really know what's going on there. Wish us luck. The van has just been pulled over. It's so early, the camera's not even focusing. It's five to six. Today is the day that we cross in to Guatemala. Everybody is up early. If any of you watched last week's video, you'll know that none of the border options open to us to get from Mexico into Guatemala were ideal for various reasons, including security, distance and stuff like that. The one that we've chosen is known for being particularly hectic and busy, but it should be okay. We're three and a half hours away now. It's why we're up super early so that we can get there as early as we can. Before sunrise, dogs need to walk on the beach and then we are gonna get going and see how this border crossing goes. We were on Google Maps last night, sussing out the lay of the land, making sure we know where to go and everything. So fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. <laughs> our paperwork including the health certificates for Guatemala from the vets. When we were in San Cristobal and I wasn't very well, Ben popped into town to the vets to go and get these. It was just what, a quick 20 minute process? Yeah. Went in, saw the vet, gave him all their like passports and vaccination records and he created these documents for us. And do you remember how much it was? 20 quid. About 20 quid, so not too bad, but we need these to get into Guatemala. We actually know someone that got turned away at the border yesterday and was in no man's land for like five hours because the paperwork, but I think ours is okay. We should be okay. Looking good. This might be an unpopular van life opinion, but I don't actually like overnight oats. Just tastes like cold sludge to me, but I've mixed this one with chocolate. It's okay. Oh, that's quite nice actually. It tastes like chocolate pudding. That's really good. Mm. I can get on board with chocolate overnight oats. Okay, how are, we doing, how are we doing for time? We're going to leave by eight. Yeah. It's half seven. This it's is half seven. Excellent. Good. So we're going to get there by 11. So probably half 11, I reckon. Yeah. We're going to start this. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Oh, no, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Hey. You're welcome. <laughs> Come on, take care. Lovely we'll to meet you. you. Bye. 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 Thank, Thank you very much. Bye bye. bye. San Cristobal and Ben went and got their health certificates. We also changed a load um, in, of pesos into Guatemala and quetzals, so we shouldn't have to like deal with the money changes and going to the bank right after we get to the border. Yeah, not to be confused with the salty or chocolate snack of pretzels. No, these are quetzals, not the savoury German snack. No. It's actually named after a really beautiful bird that is native to Guatemala, the quetzal. And you can see it on the currency. There it is. And there as well. It's actually a really, really beautiful drive. There is so much rainforest, birds circling overhead. Ben's just seen like a bright blue bird. These look like a parrot. I'm not sure if from parrot country yet or not. There's mountains surrounding us, like thick forested mountains looming up from all over. And then to the left of me, there's this huge, like thick cloud, like veil just pouring over the mountain top. It's honestly, it's so beautiful. So as well as giving information on like where we can sleep and campsites and stuff, the app we use, iOverlander, also has details on like the different border crossings and people write down what their experiences have been. And somebody has written, some angel 
uh, Poudre de Campette.com have written this really, really detailed explanation of the, the steps to get through the borders here. And it is, it is long. A lot of people will solicit you. Ignore them unless you need to change money to get questions. Park in the free car park to the right of the border crossing. Go and get your passport stamped um, at the counter opposite the Banjacito. Park in the street and the double line and go to have your passport stamped in the Migracion building on the left after the bridge. Request one double-sided vehicle owner driving license, one double-sided registration vehicle document, one vehicle in the central direction. Give all photocopy documents and originals to the agent. Go to the office on the right to get a paper to pay. And that will take about one hour 30. Quite a lot. If you're wondering why we're feeling a bit overwhelmed by this border, that's why. This looks like a solid white line in the middle of the road, yeah? So look at it here, and then look in the mirror. It's, the glare is so bright, it's making the black like tarmac in the middle of the road look pure white. White? Black and white. How crazy is that? Okay, here we go, the final 10 minutes. In 300 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Well, we just made it to the border car park and we'd heard that there were gonna be fixes and people trying to force us into other car parks and to drive off this way and so far we've not had anybody <laughs> well they, they they caught us at the very end didn't they they oh did they yeah yeah, yeah you'll see them all on the side yeah but they so weren't like, like oh. they weren't swarming the band there no anything. no that's true right we're gonna go now and get stamped out of mexico so we're officially stamped out of mexico we're about to cross into guatemala to get stamped in there and go to customs for the van and the dogs just we're about to cross the van has just been pulled over um, for them to check the vehicle documentation and his passport, I think, on the agents. Just opening up the van now. So we just had a vehicle inspection leaving Mexico, which I didn't really think was a thing. So we're asking about like the validity of our registration documents and stuff, but we've got the TIP and everything, so oh. in the end, that was fine. That was a bit weird. That was really weird. Like, I don't know if he... I uh, looked at my American visa, I thought that was my passport. Oh really? I thought it first, um, yeah, but... Anyway, right, right, let's go, just get parked up. Next stop is get stamped for Guatemala. parked in this giant car park for 50 pretzels and now we're going to walk down to migration on the high street i think it's our first time doing border stuff with the van where it's not in a border like area it's like in the town <laughs> okay we got slightly accosted by drunk people at the uh, at the stamp office but we've had to fill out an import form for the van we had to come back to the van to do it because they didn't have a pen and we didn't have a pen so now we've got to go and get our stamps and just stamp. Right. Alright, ready? Take two. Shall I take a pen with me just in mm. case? Oh, you've got it. Right, photo copies for customers, right? Right, we're going that way. Okay. So we just need to get your import one. I've only I've got my driving license, not only the front. So yeah, it says double size to do both, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so photocopies all done. We accidentally walked past the building to check the pets into or check the dogs into. And then had the great idea just to ask them where we check the dogs in and they were like, oh here. Yeah. So I've got all the dogs' paperwork sorted, they are in, they've just had a little mini inspection and they're all good. So now we've got to drive up to a different building to go and get the van checked in now. Oh, it it's, is. it's just a little bit chaotic, but it's okay. Oh, it's actually, yeah, it's really okay. It's just chaotic and it's hot. 
isn't it? And it's not in the same area, like it's in the border area, so yeah. everything's all over the place. It's, anyway. it's spread about 200 metres apart. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We have made it to our first camp spot in Guatemala. We are in the garden of a guy called Alexander. Found this spot on I Overlander. Only is, co is only costing us four pounds each or eight pounds in total per night. We're just gonna stay here tonight. Big grassy area, nice and secure in a beautiful, absolutely beautiful garden. There's like banana trees, there's flowers everywhere. It's so, so pretty. We're parked just there. 
<laughs> down here is a path down to the river apparently. God knows we need to swim up this way. Wow. God, this feels like we've arrived in Guatemala, it does, right? Yeah, this is like walking through a little jungle, isn't it? Watch the setting. Oh, thank you. ask for a more like idyllic place to decompress after a border crossing. Yeah, that is very, very true. Oh. Slim pickings tonight, baby. In oh, fact, no. I really don't know what we're gonna have. Oh, no, what's in the freezer bit? Okay. Oh, there's oh, there's a frozen side shit that is like. Oh no! Put it no no. Sorry, put it in the the sink because it, it'll thaw and it might pop. Surely it will have cracked already. We used up most of the stuff in the fridge because we weren't sure what we were supposed to bring into Guatemala, like with meat and dairy and fruit, fresh veg and stuff. So it's Swan Pickings gem tonight. Got a line. I've got some like tuna sashimi on the tostadas. Oh yeah, you can have that, yeah. That's nice and light because I'm not overly hungry. Is that a salmon? And then there's a bit of salmon. So do you want salmon and rice? Yeah, I'll have salmon and, and then rice then. I only got to cook yours and I don't have to cook mine. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Ooh, some Belgian yeah. chockies. Go on, pass this one. Got one now. Yeah, so hungry. Oh my God. Look how bad that is. That's melted. They've melted. Melted. There you oh, go. Thank you, mate. I'm so tired though, my eyes are burning. <laughs> We are now officially van life wankers and making overnight oats. <laughs> We're finally on the bandwagon. And I know what some of you are saying, you've been van wankers for a long time, but this just makes it official. Look at this sleepy van life wanker. <laughs> it's only half eight. Do you want to make the bed? Oh, yeah. Mm. Do you grab a bottle of water? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Look. 
<laughs> I'm so tired. Okay. You're not in this on this. You're not in this realm. No, nah, I need to go. I need to go to sleep. We made it. We made it. Well done. Mwah. Love, Love you. you. No, no. <laughs>